Hello everyone, and welcome back to Boat Club. Down here at the Boat Club docks, we're getting ready to set sail for another half an hour of completely improvised adventures, fun, and other stuff. With me as always, it's the crew you love to know. It's John and Tom. Hi guys. Hey. But specifically first, John. Oh, hey. And Tom. Yeah, hello. <laughs> Hey! Yes! Yeah, so, yes! Yeah. So, we here we do improv. And you know what? I'm pretty sure John's explained improv. I'm pretty sure I've explained improv. Hey, Tom, what's improv? Uh, well, Joe, improv is um, sort of like a lifeblood. Um, and it's, it's a lifestyle, a lifeblood, and just a life, really, you know? Okay, but what is it in a more literal sense? Oh, so in a literal sense, Joe, um, it is theatre or audio or visual that's completely made up on the spot. Scenes that are made up on the spot or a story that's made up on the spot by performers who don't know what's coming next. <laughs> so what you're saying is it's completely made up on the spot. It's completely made up on the spot, Joe. Come on, we know this by now. Yeah, but the audience, this might be someone's first time watching Boat Club and we don't want them to feel like they're jumping into something they don't understand, yeah. a series of in-jokes. They don't want to feel like uh, they're jumping overboard. Oh, boat. boat thing. Boat. Boat thing. Boat. So today we're once again going to go for a monologue for you. But what do you mean? That we will have one word given to us by one of our lovely viewers at home. And in a moment, Tom will read out that word. And then one of us might have a thought about a story to do with that word. They'll tell that story, and then we'll do some scenes off that story. So, Tom, what's the word, and who gave it to us? Okay, this word is coming from B -B -B Benson. That's how they wanted to be um, shouted out. Um, and the word... Are you ready, gentlemen? Yes. The word for which you have to do a monologue to is ice. Thank you, Benson. So obviously I've got to tell the story of the fact that um, it's not a story of something that happened to me, but that Vanilla Ice would quite frequently apparently play college gigs in the 90s, open with Ice Ice Baby. Then when he saw people starting to leave, go to play Ice Ice Baby again in the hope they'd stay, right? <laughs> I, I just feel like that's my jumping off point is thinking about just... I, I love when you get thinking about the psychology of when you get like in my first year um Wheatus played at our student union oh yeah and i remember turning up late just in time to hear them play teenage dirtbag and then leaving <laughs> um, wasn't teenage dirtbag the last song yeah <laughs> i i got the ticket for free cuz someone else um, just didn't want to go but they'd bought the ticket for some reason um so I felt no obligation to go for the full thing. Sorry if you were the support act. I'm sure you were great. But yeah, I, I just thought about that. Like, then this was followed up by uh, May Ball that year. Had like Miss Dynamite played, who is unfairly labeled as a one hit wonder because she had a lot of other great songs. It's just people didn't want to give her the time for some reason, despite that she was one of the best MCs this country has produced. We had the Hoosiers, who were that rare kind of Two hit wonder. Um, we had top loader, and it was just it was it was a full stream of things where people were coming along to see them play on the main stage for one song. And I just think about like the structuring of when do you put it in because you know that if you play it first, people are going to leave after the song. You know if you wait till the end, people are going to try and come in right at the end. So do you throw it in somewhere in the middle? Do you throw it in like second to last and then be like? Hey guys, uh, here's a cover to close. Just so you've got something that's a bit more recognisable, but it's still a fun ending. And I often think about like how hard it must be also being laboured with that notion of feeling like you're labelled as a one-hit wonder. As if it therefore is like people saying, because we haven't heard your other songs, we don't care about your other songs. And I'm sure that a lot of these bands have great back catalogues beyond the one thing we maybe know about them except for perhaps third eye blind who even their one hit wonder wasn't good and i will go to my grave saying this 
Third Eye Blind, you suck. <laughs> Thank you for that monologue, Joe. Um, <laughs> okay, so with that, we are now going to uh, devise a variety of scenes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and Joe, do I, what do I do next to, to host this? <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll take you now to, to a yoga retreat. <laughs> Please come in. Now, I'm glad that you could both could be here. And if you would join me in please unveiling the wrapper from your petty filou. Mm -hmm. Now, place the spoon in. Take the spoon out. Put the spoon in your mouth. <laughs> Opening your mouth first. Ar now, pull the spoon out of your mouth, having left the yogurt in your mouth. Huh? Repeat until your yogurt is done. Thank you. I, I have a question. Oh, yes? Uh, what, what should I do with the yogurt in my mouth? Oh, uh, swallow it. Oh. Uh, but important thing to note, don't swallow your tongue. Uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, I've run out of yogurt. Then you are done. I have nothing more to teach you. I mean, I've, got a, I've got a question. Yes. I, I've lost my spoon. How much yogurt do you have left in the pot? Um, uh, I don't quite know the specific percentage of it, but it, it's, there's, there's, there is yogurt left in the pot. I'd say it's enough that you could probably just tongue it out, mate. Okay. I, I have a question. Yes. Where's your yogurt? I had my yogurt before you arrived. I have another question. Yes. How come um, I've got apricot and he's got raspberry? Did you want raspberry? Well, I just thought it'd be nice to get a variety. Uh, I have a question. Um, um, my, my tongue is stuck in my lips. Uh... <laughs> then take it out. Oh. In answer to your question, the putty of Lou provides what it thinks the owner will want, not necessarily what they need. Um, can I ha I have a question? Yes. Can I have another one? Yes. Thank you. But you may not have another apricot. You must have a different flavour. Variety is important. This this one doesn't even have anything on it. It just says it just is blank. Um, Are I, you willing I, to take the plunge into the mysterious yogurt? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> what was your question? I have a question. Um, yes. My, my leg is dead. Um, cut it off. Back to um, you. I've got I've got a knife in <laughs> in in my in my petty for Lou. Then cut off his leg. Oh, um, okay. Uh, I'm s sorry. Chop. Thank you. And once again, I have nothing left to teach you. Uh, I have one more question. Yes. Uh, I, I'm I'm getting this really bad pain in the leg. <laughs> um, that has been cut off. Uh. Well, I think I know the remedy. Have you tried a Muller corner? Edit. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> hey guys. Uh, all right, students' union tonight's the night. Listen, uh, I know that you guys are building to uh, to to play an hour and a half of you know your hit songs and everything, but um, it, a little bit of a change of plan. Um, I know that you guys were one hit wonders once, but if you could just stick to the uh, mate, song mate, that you um, play, mate. One hit wonders. Did you hear our third album? <laughs> we no. got to number seven in the rock charts, Portugal. Yeah. Uh, listen, uh, 
uh, just 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 play a teenage dirtbag and that's it. All right, just play it continuously for an hour and a half. We can make some money from the students. Just just don't play any of your other songs. Uh, but the problem is, uh, and hey, um, I know it's me, we, but Tuss, Tuss. Feel free yeah, to disagree yeah. with me here if you got a yeah, problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Tuss, like, yeah. I don't want to speak for you. No. The problem is we're not teenagers anymore. So how can we play that song? Also, we're not dirt bags anymore. We're very clean. We showered today. Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I I get that. You know, like uh, uh, the 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 people from Aqua aren't Barbie girls. You know, they're they're regular. They're musicians. not. They're not. What? See, guys, I think I find the reason. I, I think I know why you guys are one-hit wonders, and you're only playing to students' union around the UK now. It's because you guys are, you guys believe that these things are real. Wait. So, 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 wait. To break this down, are you about to tell me that Eiffel sixty-five aren't blue? Dabba dee dabba die. No, that's a song. It's a, it's a song. A, a song that tells us all about them and their and their way of life. Yeah. Are you trying to tell me that the automatic weren't killed by that monster that came over the hill? No, guys, it's a song. It's metaphorical. It's it's an analogy of. I, I actually, you know, the automatic are actually very incredibly smart. Are you trying people. to tell me the Beatles weren't killed by the octopus in that garden? I don't think they were killed in the lyrics anyway. I don't know where you're <laughs> you getting. Are you trying to then. tell me that the Rolling Stones weren't run over by all those wild horses? Guys, you, I'm paying you just to play the song. Wait, Sorry, you tuss, used to tuss, team... back me up here. Uh, I mean, you've just said the the, the Beatles and, and Rolling Stones, and they and they they had like loads of songs that were really good. Wait, that's oh, I, I wish that I wish that we were like them. Mate, mate, your your solo stuff is really good. Just Thanks. Tuss. Just... I love Just Tuss. <laughs> just Tuss. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, I try my best with this stuff, but you know, I, I can barely even play, go around the UK doing student unions. I have to go around the UK doing like like daycare centres and stuff. I mean, <laughs> it's just not. I don't know. I just, I just, I just think that maybe we should just play the one song. You know, just, just play the one song, and you know, just, just get our money and go. Who do you think you are, Tuss? You're the man that wrote an album of speed metal for toddlers. I know what I am, we. I know what I am. <laughs> Thank you, Tuss. I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby. <laughs> um, hi, guys. Uh, sorry to interrupt the, the meeting. It looks like you're crying. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, I, I'm, I'm your... Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to be the band. I'm going to be performing just before you guys. Uh, it's a real nice pleasure to meet you, uh, I, I do I do uh, I do like uh, muse covers. Get out of here, you little punk! So what? We don't need your type around here. What? Excuse me. Just saying, kid. This is a freaking block. Get out of here, you little punk! Just let him stay. I mean, what's the point in any of this? Well, you guys really are dirt bags. Yeah, but you, you want to see a dirt old. bag? How like about 45. this? Yeah, ah, what the fuck? Yeah, you we were to gonna do that during the show. We were gonna throw out some mud when we sang the song to make it more interactive. Uh, we cut to we tuss at their uh, <laughs> at, 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 at <laughs> Virgin Studios, guys. Another bust up, another fight, and another. I'm trying to give you. I'm trying to give you gigs here. All right, we. You might be taken off the label at this point. Yeah, but why can't we play our new stuff? Uh, look, I nobody wants to hear your new stuff. It's too literal. You just—it's all literal stuff. Like they're all songs about going to the bathroom. I'm just. About... Hang on, wait, no, no. Look, look, listen, look. I don't understand what I mean, I've got the lyric sheet right here for the next song. Yeah, you it's do. just like. You're gonna I'm, I'm just. I've just got it right here. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. Just, it's. Uh, I'm just a middle-aged man. Look, What's wrong with that? I don't know. Wait, that. wait. Okay, well, first Tuss. of all, Tuss. Yeah. Don't listen to this guy. 
I've just thought of a great idea for a song. Yeah. It's called I'm just looking for a quarter pint of milk. No, I don't need a full pint of, of milk. milk. Do you have any Maybe. quarter pints of milk? Send me skimmed. <laughs> Skimmed. Okay. Dee 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 yes, dee 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 dee. Guys, yes, guys, 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 hit, guys, right? Guys, yes. you, it's 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 teenage dirtbag. It's just the what? song. It's the Hang song on. with different lyrics. Hang on. What 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 about this? Um, we are just a band that are washed up. We think <laughs> that we could do an- another hit. Are you What's... improvising right now? Are you, is this, are you doing this uh, on the spot? Uh, <laughs> we do not improvise, sir. Uh, we write. <laughs> okay, how about this? I'm just a boy in front of a girl asking her to love him. Notting Hill in cinema summer 1998. Starring Hugh Grant, Julia Roberts. Edit. <laughs> uh, okay, we cut to uh, the backstage of a comedy venue. Um, okay, so <clears throat> I don't know how to say this, uh, but I mean, we booked you, and we thought that you'd be you'd draw some people in, but I mean, it's it, you know, it's part. We've gone past doors. We've it's you know, it's the show's about to start and. We thought we'd get a lot more people show up on the night, but there's only one. There's only one guy out there. So, do you want to still like go ahead with this, or like, or what do you think? I mean, I don't really. I mean, personally, I would say no. But no, 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 no. I yeah, no. Look, I, I'm I'm getting paid for this. Like, you know, a show's a show, regardless of whether one person or a hundred people show up. You know, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'm sure. I'm sure they'll be fine. You know, I'm sure it'll be fine. It's good practice for me. Are you. Are you sure? Okay. Um. Yeah, uh, okay. Sure. I'll. I'll sure fine. Okay. I'll. Uh, I'll. I'll go and. In, in, I'll, I'll go and introduce you. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, hey there, guys. Who's ready to laugh tonight? <laughs> yeah. Oh, great. Okay. Now uh, we've got a. We've got a funny <laughs> comedian. Oh, he's a funny guy. He was making me crack up backstage. Who's ready what to was see he him? Saying? It, uh, I'll let him tell you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We we see we see that Joe's character is wearing like um is 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 wearing like a t shirt with like a race car like a really just random race car on it and he's wearing a hat with a little uh, propeller on top of it. Okay, now put your hands together for John Gallagher. Hey, thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey, everybody, how's it going? Take my hands apart now. Uh, yes, yes, Yay! yes, you can. Yes, you can. Hey, hey, whoa, uh, guys, small crowd. Am I right? It's Sunday. Everybody's actually you correct. Sorry, you're right. <laughs> uh, let's 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 go for the most obvious thing. Um, so what's what's your name? Uh, Terry. Terry, uh, how old are you, Terry? My name. Um, I'm sixteen and three quarters. <laughs> That's old enough to buy alcohol, yeah. Um, I have. Uh, wow, you know, somebody call the police on this kid. Am I right? <laughs> I, uh, t- please don't. Uh, sorry, I'm just gonna have to interrupt for a second. That we can't. We're not gonna call the police. He's our only paying customer tonight. Okay. You let so, okay. You let a 16 year old in. Um, we we we, we can take anyone off the street. Okay. Anyone off the street? Okay. We've still uh, we've still got people out on the street now waiting to trying to get people in. Anyway, anyway. Uh, all right. Well, I'll just level with you, Terry. I'm just going to do my material because uh, you know might as well might as well. By the way, what it. did you say backstage? Sorry. What did you say backstage that made I, him laugh? I'm not I'm not going to lie, Terry. You're sort of killing the vibe at the moment. So I'll just I'll just, you know what I'll just I'll just tell my jokes and see if you laugh and see if it works. All right. Okay. <laughs> Great, 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 great. Uh, guys, um, you know, uh, it's it's a real problem that we've got at the moment. Brexit. Brexit, am I right? Any, Terry, are you a fan of Brexit? I'm, I'm not old enough to vote. Yeah. 
uh, <laughs> uh, this little <laughs> island, guys. I don't know about you, but I remember a couple of hundred years ago when Britain used to be the power of the world. You remember that? You remember this? You remember this? The empire of nations. Uh, we conquered everything from America, Africa, uh, East Asia. I mean, some either, there's even some places out there that uh, are still ruled by Britain. What happened? Am I right? Am I right? I don't think you are now. Are you why why Terry, why are you here? To laugh. Wow, that, that cut me. That cut me deep. Um Terry? Terry, what are you doing here? Dad? Your Your mother and I've been worried sick. And you, and you're just you're here in a comedy show? Yeah. God. Well, what, is this guy funny or what? I mean, he's yet to tell his first joke. We, we don't know. I, Apparently he said something funny backstage. He won't tell us what it was. Oh, okay. Hey. Hey, buddy. Yes. Are, are you heckling me what right you, now? What did you say backstage, buddy? What did I say backstage? I said what a did lot you of say? I, I say a lot of things. said something back. funny. We want to know what it was. I, I said, I'm sitting down. I'm sitting down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh Come well, then. there's two Come people. The chuckles. There's two big. It's it's John Gallagher actually. Uh, well, there's two people that here. So sound that sounds like a funny name. Yeah. Why can't you be called like Barry Clown or something? <laughs> or Tommy Ha Ha. Yeah. What about Tommy Chuckles? Huh? What about that? Yeah. Paul Gaffor. <laughs> I can't believe I'm getting Michael Roffel. <laughs> Eric Lumfow. I tell you what, Dad, we should be up there. Hey, uh, hey, uh, uh, hey, John, John, can we, uh, how, how about you come down here and then, uh, we can, you we can go up here. there. We'll go up there. Yeah. I, I can't, I, I can't believe I'm getting heckled by two people, <laughs> the only two people in the audience right now. Like, well, don't the, tell us what you said backstage. Why, what, which part of backstage? What are you talking about? You said something that made the man who introduced you really laugh. Yeah, we we were talking about uh, talking about like uh, like my kid who fell in the bathroom. That's it. That sounds very painful. That doesn't sound oh funny. God. I don't think well, I ever. I, is he okay, like, Terry? Terry, just is so you know, okay? I never make a joke. I never make a joke about at your expense, Terry. Just so you know. Thanks, Dad. I, I love you. I son. wouldn't make one about you. I love you, son. I love you, Dad. <laughs> 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 all right well there's my time uh i guess uh <laughs> i guess thanks a lot for a nice evening everybody <laughs> uh i think john gallagher i'll see you at the edinburgh fringe next month um 7 p.m at the uh uh the cowgate shed uh You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you and good night. <clears throat> Tell you what, he was very good. I can see him going somewhere. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We cut to... Um, we cut to a dance class. Okay. And then you just want to put your feet up. And then you want to put them down. And then you just want to, yeah, just want to twinkle on your toes there. That's it. Oh, that's a great job. Well done. Well done. You're doing great. You're doing great. Okay. So, uh, guys, just gather around. Obviously, we've got we've got the performance coming up. Uh, we've got the performance coming up soon. Um, so we're gonna start to, you know, just start to try and figure out who's gonna be who. So, um, uh, little, little Joe, we thought that uh, you could be uh, you could be the the Nutcracker. What do you think? Well, I'm pretty accustomed to busting balls, but <laughs> I guess I can give it a try. Great, great. Um, and uh, and John, John, little, little Johnny. Yeah. I, I thought uh, you could be uh, you, you could be whoever the other main character in the Nutcracker is. What do you uh, think? Yeah, I'd be Wendy. Yeah, the Rat King. Or oh, the Rat King. I, I'm happy for. <laughs> I'm happy for a role, you know, it's 
you know, it's better than being on the streets killing guys and asking for money from different establishments. So this is good stuff. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay, guys. Great to hear. So, um, so we're gonna mainly. Um, so if everyone else, other than uh, jo little Joey and little Johnny, uh, if everyone else can just leave today, you've been really great. I just need to have, have a word with our two mains. Okay. Um, okay, guys. So, um, what we're thinking is for you guys to just completely, you know, just talk it out and just figure out uh, what it is you wanna, what it is you wanna do, you know, for this for this scene. Well, um, so as I was thinking that, um, you know, we be nice and delicate, nice and soft um, with each other. Uh, obviously, little Joey's got good hands. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. we, we've been partners for a few years, running errands, being with the Carmazzo family and everything. But, you know, I think we know each other quite well. Ain't they right, little Joey? Yeah, we know each other. <laughs> okay. Um Okay, guys. So, um, are they all got. They all. They're all okay. So, guys, when we're talking about dancing, you know what I'm actually talking about, right? Hmm? Um, no, no. We 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 came here. We came here to dance. Uh, we sure. We, we got sure. a we got a lot on our plate, and this is a nice way to like calm ourselves down and to try and have a hobby. You know. Sure, 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 guys. Okay, yeah, whatever you say. So. Uh... <clears throat> When I'm thinking, uh, when I'm talking about the Nutcracker, I'm thinking more like, uh, how about a, <laughs> how about a safe cracker? Hmm? Huh? Oh my God! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> look, I'm, I'm oh. just look. Listen, me and Joey are going to put this out there. Look, we know that we are professional hitmen and mobsters, but look, we we just want to dance. All right, we just listen, want, we, we just want to have some fun. This happens all the time. All the time, we get some. Big shot from the dance school coming down to us, trying to see if they can lift us up through dance, and then they end up being dragged down and wanting us to help them pull off a bank heist. And we're gonna say to you the same thing we said to the last five schmucks who did it: sixty percent each, or we're out. Oh, okay. Well, uh, look, I, I, I mean, little, little Joey, can I have a word with you? Okay, yeah, sure. So, sorry about this. So, look, little Joey, yeah. come on, come on. Like, I, we've been doing this for people, and we let's try and get out of the game for once. We're doing this every single day. Don't, let's don't just have a week. What, don't you see that's what I'm doing? That's why I said we're taking 60% each. That's 120%. That's 20 more percent. That's an offer he literally can't take. Oh, like, okay. Sorry. I, I thought you meant 60% for I, the two of us. Okay. I'm pulling the Jay Davidson and Stargate move. Oh, okay. Why can't we just say no, though? Like, we're, we're intimidating, <laughs> guys. We could just say no. <laughs> because oh, I oh, only oh. just thought of that now. Okay. Let's just go back to him and say no. <laughs> okay, no, no. You know what? Let, I like your idea. Let's see what he says about the okay, 120 Okay, <laughs> okay um, guys, so um, I've done the math, and uh, and... It seems to come out to 120%. So if oh, anything, that's if I was to get you guys involved, oh. like I would um, I would have to pay you an extra 20%. Yeah. You know? Well, um, uh, and you, could, you could say no, uh, Mr. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, you could guys, just turn this down. You could commit to being a dance teacher. Guys, yeah. if I'm honest with you, um, I really want to do this i will pay the extra 20 percent you're in oh, let's, let's crack the safe, guys. john a word <laughs> oh one second please mr caravani so this ended up working out exactly like the jay davidson in stargate situation oh. um okay i've got it what about if we commit to this and take the jay davidson metaphor even further and we turn up do the bare minimum get someone else to dub in all our lines and then <laughs> we just Take the money and run. Uh, we, we cut to a, uh, a sewing class where Tom's character um, is with the two mobsters. Uh, listen, Miss Sally, um, we've really been enjoying your sewing class, but we really don't want to kill anybody. We're really trying to have a weekend where we can just you know, sit down, relax, and sew. Mm, see, you say that, uh, boys, but at the same time... Uh... I need please, you to tie up a few loose ends, if you know what I'm please, saying. <laughs> please don't make us kill your husband. We we don't we don't want to do that this weekend, please. We've already I'm... did a bank a bank job for 120%. It was ridiculous. 
listen, listen, boys, boys, my boys, my beautiful, my beautiful little boys. Come on. Okay, fine. We'll do it if we can get 300% each. Come on, you have to, you have to be really stupid to agree to that. <laughs> you can't accept that. And hang I'm on, talking wait. before expenses. Uh, hang on, wait, guys. Can can I just can you just leave me for a second? I'm going to go do the maths. Okay. 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 Uh, we 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 we, 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 we cut to a we cut to a puppy stroking school. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> listen, Mrs. Henderson. We are very rich right now. We've been doing a whole bunch of ridiculous stuff for people. And it's why we can afford to... to pay for a school to teach us how to stroke dogs. <laughs> like, we thought that this weekend activity would not go wrong at all. We just wanted to come <laughs> here and stroke some puppies. We do not. We, I'm telling you, we do not want to shoot the mayor of New York. I don't care what you say. I'm not going to shoot anybody. Listen, boys. The dog days are over. And it's time for you to shoot the mayor of New York City. All right, we'll do it for sixty-four billion each. Miss, you have to be a fucking moron to accept this. <laughs> There's no way you have that amount. You gonna... don't have one hundred and twenty-eight billion on you. You're gonna lose your puppy school if you agree to this. <laughs> All the dogs will be let loose. You you won't be able to. You won't financially... Just call win. yourselves the Baja men, because you'll be who let the dogs out. Guys, just let me do the maths. <laughs> I do <don't... laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, God's sake. Another another 7 a.m. start. <sighs> All right. Let's get out of bed. <sighs> Hello, beautiful morning. Hello, John! <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, um, guys, guys, it's it's really important that we take this seriously because I don't know about you, but I'm really starting to worry about Ray. Charles, you know, yeah, yeah, Ray Charles. <laughs> I mean, ever since he became a ghost, um, he's just been going around. Um, he's he's started he started a group up in heaven. It's him, Isaac Newton, um, Garibaldi, and um, <laughs> and Phil the Power Taylor, who I didn't even realize was dead. And they're calling themselves the Pussy Patrol, and it's a real problem. Oh come on, they're they're just. I mean, it doesn't seem that bad. They're just you know the, we. I, I wouldn't mind watching them, you know, like, all, all, the, all my other angel friends are like, oh, that sounds like an amazing band idea. You'd think it's an amazing band, but they're not playing music. They're doing... They're doing... They're doing improv. What? They're doing improvised comedy. Right. Oh, that and, is weird. And Isaac Newton, um, he... He's found a way to work gravity into every sketch. Cut to um, <laughs> cut to the improv uh, scene of uh, the Pussy Patrol in heaven. <clears throat> All right, okay. everybody, who's ready to see some comedy in heaven? <laughs> yes. Uh, in in the audience, there's uh, there's the sixteen year old with the car T shirt and the little hat with the spiral with the propeller on top. We, okay. we, asked you, we asked you a question. Do you guys want to see some improv comedy? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. 
Oh, Can I ask uh, you a quick question? Yeah. Uh, how did I die? Uh, it's, oh, uh, I didn't want to tell you this, but you're, um, you had a little bit of an accident in the bath. I should have listened to that joke. Oh, could have avoided it. Yeah, now you're stuck here watching the improv ramblings of Ray Charles and the rest of the group. <laughs> Isaac Newton and Gary Baldy? Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, audience member, are, are you, is your death, uh, is the gravity of your situation dawning on you? Oh, oh Isaac! Oh, hey, it's a me, it's a Gary Baldy. Uh, so, uh, we cut to we cut to God's office, uh, and we see the improv troupe Pussy Patrol. Jen, Pussy Jen... Patrol. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, no. God, no you speak. It's me, Gary Baldi. Okay. Uh, first of all, please don't come into my office and pretend to be me. That's just rude. <laughs> is it rude or is it uh, improv? Okay, look, you guys, uh, I have to talk to you about your performances at the Heaven Comedy Club. Uh, it's just a one-trick pony. It's just the same jokes over and over again. Uh, it just seems like you guys are literally taking your suggestions and doing the same jokes over and over again. It's not improv. It's not improv. I would God, know. I'm going to stop you there, okay? Um, you're really bringing us down to earth like the apple did on my head. Isaac, I've heard you tell that joke at least ten times in one show. Suddenly, in the corner of the room, they hear a sound of a slow clap. <laughs> Gentlemen, I think I have a solution. Let me introduce myself and my associate. His name's Tuss. Cut to <laughs> <laughs> one week later become the backing band for Wheaters. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, we're here to do some more of our original material. Yeah, isn't that right, Tuss? Yeah, yeah, original material. Um, here it is. Get ready, guys. I hope you uh, peace. Uh, okay. Hi, uh, sorry, I've got a question. I'm, uh, I'm in the yeah. audience, but I've got a question. Yeah. Oh well, actually, I've got two questions. Uh, uh, yeah. number Number one, uh, do, do any of you guys know how to uh, get a yogurt pot out of your hand? Uh, and before you answer that, my second question is, when did you guys die and how did you guys die? I didn't know we had died. Funny well, you should say that. That's what our song's about. Both of those things. <laughs> My name is We and that's Toss. We're in a band together. We eat yogurt. But one time we choked on it and now we're in heaven. Because we're good friends. And that is a thing that deserves a place in heaven for being best friends. Best friends. Just stopping the. Does that answer your question? Did that answer your question? It did. Well. Oh, yeah. It sounds like you don't know your own lyrics. Uh, we know our own lyrics. <laughs> Test um, us. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to. I just. I no, just no. To... Please, come on. Test us. Tuss. Tuss. Test Tuss. Yeah. Te yeah. Te wait. What? Yeah. Test me. Test. Test Tuss. Um. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna go. I'm sorry. It's I know okay. I'm... No. No. Come on. Hey. Hey. Stay. This is We've terrible. written a song precisely about why you shouldn't leave right now, haven't we, Tuss? Yes, we we have. Yep. Yes, we have. <laughs> we have written a song. <laughs> <laughs> why you shouldn't leave. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> My name is We... My name what? is Tuss. 
I like cheese. Uh, we cut. I we we cut to God just watching this in his office. This is fucking worse than the improv. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. You know what? Send them straight to hell. We and Tuss straight to hell. <laughs> cut to hell. <laughs> Hey everybody! Uh, it's it's good to see you uh, uh, out there tonight. Um, so many familiar faces. Um, so uh, uh, who who wants to hear teenage dirtbag? Yeah, I did. That's our show. Hey. And the twist is that in the end they were sent down there, but they became the torture. Yeah. Yes. Mm, yeah. Irony. Is it? Is it? No, that is irony. No, no, no. The band was Someone cool. call Alanis Morissette. Very good. Very well. We shall do so. <laughs> <laughs> and Alanis Morissette, if you're listening, and watch. <laughs> I have buy us a coffee. <laughs> buy us a coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash boat club. And you can find me online at N O T J O E R A C Z K A. That's not Joe Ranchka. Where can we find you, Tom? Uh, you can find me at Tom Pullen Tweets on Twitter, at Tom Pullen Graham on Instagram, and you can find my work at distinctlyaveragedradio.co.uk or .com. I can't remember off the top of my head. Try them both. One will work. Ding! And John, where can we find you? On Twitter, one board man on Twitter, uh, or uh, doing improv with Bristol Longform Comedy. We do shows uh, like The Billy Boys, and we do improv conversations. Bristol Longform Comedy on YouTube. And to play us out, it's sixpence none the richer! <laughs> Bye! 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 Bye.